Hey guys, what is up? It's your boy, No Vanity. Welcome back to the channel. And today I'm going to be talking about how I got hacked and terminated on YouTube and some preventive measures that other creators can use if you're a creator or a non-creator or just starting out on YouTube. Um, here's my story and vice versa. So I woke up one day looking through my email and I got a sponsorship. I got a few of them. One was a fitness one, which obviously the fitness one is also a scam too. Um... But the one that I got actually scammed into was a gaming one because my channel is primarily gaming and everything. So I was like, okay, this could definitely fit on the channel. It looked very promising. It looked very formal. The grammar was impeccable. Everything was perfect on this email. So pretty much I was like, okay, I'm into it. I was like six, seven messages into the email and I was like, okay, it's cool. I, I want to join your guys' uh, sponsorship and everything like that. Promotion. Um, and then they wind up sending me a link. I clicked the link. It was a Google Doc link. And I'm like, okay. For some reason, it just downloaded as a file. I was like, okay. Uh, maybe it's because it was early in the morning and I should not be operating stuff early in the morning. But anyway, I clicked into the zip file, opened it up. It was a PDF form inside. I clicked the PDF form and I'm like, okay, interesting. Um, nothing's happening. And I emailed them back and I'm saying, okay, nothing's happening. And they totally 100% ghosted me. And I was like, okay, well, I got to start the live stream. So I start my live stream. I was live streaming about like an hour or so. And then something happened. I think I was trying to log into my Google account to a different website or something while I was doing a live stream on. And you know how the website says log into Apple, log into Google. So I click log into Google and Google wanted my password again. I'm like, okay, well, I'm typing in my password. Nothing's happening. So I was like, okay, well, for some reason, when I click on Google, I'm still logged into like my Gmail and everything. So I, I go into my Gmail account where the security tab is to change my password and I click change password and my old password's not working. Nothing's working because it's asking for my current password. And I'm like, what's going on? So I back out, go back to the security seconds. And then I notice that my two factor has been turned off. Well, two factors on, but the security key has has a brand new security key, brand new backup codes, but no email or phone number linked to it. And I'm like, what's happening? So I went ahead, contacted Gmail, like, what's happening? I actually had to live end the live stream, by the way. I was live streaming, had to end it. And I contact Google, and I'm like, what's happening to my email and everything like that? And they're like, um, sorry, but uh, you have to wait 72 hours for a link to change your password and everything like that. And I was like, oh my God gosh, are you serious right now? Um, and then I wind up leaving the chat and just going straight to the phone call and calling them up. And the woman was literally confused. She didn't understand a lick of anything. I felt like she was brand new intern or something. Um, she didn't help at all. She just said the same thing. Like the lady in the chat said, wait 72 hours. And that's not what I'm having. And as I'm getting off the phone, I go to discord and I'm like, yo, what is happening? Um, everyone in my Discord is going crazy because they start live streaming. They rebranded my channel, Tesla Live, with a Tesla handle name, and live streaming a live stream of Tesla and Elon Musk or something, and they're literally doing a crypto scam on my, on my channel. And I'm like, okay, well, that's amazing. You know, all my hard work is probably going to get thrown out the window uh, because of this. Uh, all right. It's not like a life choice of me, like leaving the YouTube channel. It's like a brute force way of like getting into the channel and possibly getting terminated. You know what I mean? It, it's a little bit different, but, um, yeah, so they did that and I was literally livid. Um, everyone's like in the chat and everything like that. I wind up because what you guys have to do is contact. If you want to get in touch with team YouTube, you guys got to go and make a Twitter. All right. So I made a Twitter. I made the tweet. I actually edit everyone in my discord because I have a huge community in discord. I edit everyone in discord. I told them, Hey, if you could like and retweet my tweet. So team YouTube will see this as soon as possible. Tween YouTube did. They sent me out a form. I filled out the form and everything like that. And now I went a step further and I actually did go back on the phone with Google and expedited my email recovery. So I actually, after I got off the phone the second time with them, they actually expedited and I got my email access within one to two hours actually. So I didn't have to wait the full 72 hours. Um, the woman was very understanding and everything like that. And she took it even higher ups and everything like that for me to get my account right back in there. 
everything like that. Because now I had access to my email and I was contacted with Google, uh, you team YouTube, team YouTube sent me out a form. I filled out the form and everything like that. And they said they would get back in touch with me and regain access to my account. But right when I sent that form, I actually gained access to my account. So I was like, okay, maybe team YouTube will see that I gain access. So I went on my YouTube channel. I was rebranding all my stuff again. And about a few hours later, my channel got terminated as I was watching a live stream on my TV. So I went ahead and contacted Team YouTube again in an email saying, hey, um, I got terminated and everything like that. They're like, okay, well, because you have access now, we're going to look into the terminization of your account and see why that happened. So uh, I got originally hacked on, I forget to say, February 14th. It's now February 17th. Got my account back. Um, and I got an email saying, hey. We reverted the issues and everything like that. The team YouTube didn't know that I was hijacked and everything. So that's very, very nice. They reverted everything and everything is square and clean now. And um, I do have to say for a fact, team YouTube is probably the best and kindest support that I have ever done through an email support chat before. I have to commend team YouTube very, very well. And also Google, I appreciate the woman that I was talking to on Google, very, very helpful. The other team members from Google though, weren't helpful at all they were actually really trash and also i do have to say to team youtube and google you really need to crack down on your security it really needs to get fixed and additionally you guys do need to crack down on these hacks and everything send out a letter to your um, creators tell them about this say it multiple times i don't know if they said it once or twice but they need to say it uh, because it seems like it's a very very common thing um, it's a very, very common thing, guys. If you guys don't go on YouTube.com and type in Tesla Live, there's literally accounts being broad stream right now with this live stream that got hacked. All those accounts with Tesla Live are hacked accounts. And I believe the recent one, the biggest one that just got hacked right now was a Roblox YouTuber with over almost 10 million subscribers that recently just got hacked. So it's just not me that's getting hacked or getting fooled into this. It's bigger channels and everything like that. So if you are a content creator and you're waiting for a reply for YouTube, I can definitely say it's like a 98% chance you're going to get your channel back and no worries. It's just a time limit. For me, I was very lucky and fortunate that I got my account count back within two to three days. But I do want to say... If you are waiting, make sure you guys put particular measures in. You guys can reboot your whole PC. I didn't do that yet, which I should be doing. Uh, but I went ahead, I downloaded Marwabytes, ran that, ran that for about eight times actually. Then I de deleted that, downloaded uh, Norden or Nord, um, and ran that for about four times. And then, and additionally, I downloaded Tron, which is a like a custom script that reformats your pc and also cleans it out and stuff like that and i ran that about like three times so i think i'm safe i even deleted all my cookies and everything like that if you guys ever have a sponsorship make sure you guys use this tool called virus total it'll actually copy the url of the website or even the file that you potentially have to go to or download and it'll actually tell you if the site is malicious or the file is malicious and after i actually put in the file if i knew this earlier i put in the original file that the person told me to look at and it actually came up malicious so make sure you guys really use this website to your advantage when dealing with sponsorships or anything over the internet um, but anyway appreciate a like subscribe if you guys are brand new to the channel or was a subscribe to the channel before you unsubscribed recently. But uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Other than that, that's about it for my story. And I'll check you guys later. If anyone has any questions or I didn't specify on something previously and you're a content creator, let it be known in the chat in the comment section. And I'll try to answer your questions the best of my ability. But the main thing, you do want to contact Team YouTube over on Twitter. And that's how you'll restore your account if you got hacked or terminated. But anyway, I'll see you guys later. Peace and goodbye.